Yo, what's going on everybody? Uh, my name is Ian, and today I'm bringing you guys another graded card video. Uh, this one will cover a couple of the past few months submissions. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Start off with uh, some of the Hakusho stuff, and then I got some DBZ and also some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff this go around. So um, starting off, we got some Alliance cards. So I uh, got the uh, Ghost Rares graded on top of the uh, Rising King being graded already. So the first one we have is No. This one got a 9 with a 9.5 on centering and 9 on all other uh, three categories. Next one is Replay at an 8.5. Have a uh, 9.5 on the center, or sorry, centering, 9 on corners and edges, and surface was an 8. Um, knew the surface was a little rough on this one. Um, I think most of the replays I've had have been kind of rough. So still nonetheless a pretty uh, nice grade on an Alliance card. And then the lowest grade that I have, and mostly due to factory error more than collector error at this point, um, is the Solitaire. This came out at a near mint 8, and this is because the centering is terrible on it and got a 7.5, and you can see the left side is way off compared to the right. Um, but all other three factors got a 9.5, and I thought it was going to be enough to at least bump it up to an 8, but they were saying that the centering... Uh, will only go up by 0.5, which uh, I think that's a little rough on that, but oh well. Um, it's still, to me, it has very good grades, minus the uh, centering being off, so I'm okay with that. Um, the next card I have is Chu, Rugged Assailant. And this is a uh, fairly sought after and kind of rare card now for the, from the Alliance set. This came in at a uh, mint 9 with the centering edges and surface at a 9 and the corners at a 9.5. So I was pretty satisfied with this grade. This card's been pretty tough for me to find and I think I've only ever owned two, maybe three. Uh, the next one I'm very excited to get this one back as a gem mint 9.5 is Yomi, uh, the Reform. This is the Spirit Rare from Alliance as well. This one has the centering corners and edges at a 9.5 and the surface at a 9, so I was pretty uh, happy to see this Yomi get a very strong grade, so it's a very nice looking card and I'm very happy with that. And then the last Alliance card I got graded was my other Yusuke Champion of the People. This one came in at a mint 9, so this one did get um, a 0.5 grade higher overall than my uh, previous Yusuke, so I was very happy with this. It got a uh, 9 on all categories except for the surface, which had a 9.5. So I was pretty satisfied with this grade on the use case. All right. So that does it for the Alliance cards for Hakusho that I had graded this uh, past few submissions. Uh, the next one, so I uh, got all three of my kings that I haven't had already had, I uh, got them graded. So we'll start off with the Exile, we'll start off with Yusuke the Raver. So the uh, top right piece got a 9.5 with a uh, 9.5 on everything except for the corners which got a 9. And then we got the top left coming in at a mint 9 with corners and surface at a 9 and centering and edges at 9.5. And the bottom left coming in at a 9 with centering at a perfect 10, edges at a 9, corners as 8.5 and the surface at a 9.5 and the last piece coming in at a 9 as well which I believe this had the exact same grades 10, 9, 8.5, 9.5 so I don't know how I managed to do that one on this uh, king set but overall pretty happy with the grades on that use K. Uh, next one from Exile is the Makuro king set so the uh, tournament ghost rare piece got a 9 with a 9.5 on centering, 8.5 on corners, edges and surface were a 9. So pretty happy with this. This is probably one of the best looking um, tournament ghost rare pieces I've had of Makuro. So I was happy with that grade. Then the uh, upper right I have a mint 9 as well. So this is coming in with a 9.5 on centering and 9 on all other categories. The uh, next one is the lower left, and this is a uh, overall 9 
Um, so the centering and edges and surface were 9.5 and the corners were an 8.5. All right, and the last piece was the bottom right, which got a gem mint 9.5. So this had a 9.5 on centering edges and surface, and a 9 on the uh, corners. So very glad with this king set as well. Um, averaging, what was that, like a 9.25 or something. So overall, I uh, was glad to at least get them all up in there. And then the last piece, is, or uh, last king set is the Yomi set. So uh, this is the only piece that had an 8.5, and I'm probably going to be looking for... Uh, another one of these since this isn't the harder piece to get. It's just a uh, the uber rare from the pack So this got an 8.5 the um, Centering and corners were at a 9.5 and the edges were at a 9, but the surface was only at an 8 So wasn't quite enough to bring it up all the way um, to that 9 and then the other uber rare piece to it the upper right got a 9 as well with 9 on everything except for the surface having a 9.5 the uh, tournament, or sorry, this is the pack ghost rare, got a 9 with uh, centering at a 9.5, surface at a 9.5, and then corners and edges at a 9. And then the last piece, which is the more sought after one, which is the tournament ghost, got a uh, gem mint 9.5. So pretty happy with that, with a 9.5 on everything except for the corners, which got a 9. So um, I was glad to finally have all my king sets graded. They all had fairly decent grades on them, um, getting to about a 9 on each one, so uh, pretty satisfied with that, um, and glad to keep them in some really cool looking uh, cases for uh, however long I own them. Uh, the next cards we'll get into, let's do uh, the Dragon Ball Z stuff. So uh, I managed to get three more of these graded, so I was trying to finish out the scoring zone. Well, at least what I can get from scoring zone, um, minus ultimate champion. So um, after this, I think I just need one more card, and that's Black Lunge to get graded, and then I'll be done with all the scoring zone stuff. So this is going to be the 2002 scoring zone series. So I got a uh, champion belt at a uh, 9.5 with the centering at a 9 and everything else at a 9.5. So uh, pretty strong grades on that. A uh, Victorious Drill coming in at a 9, with 9 on the edges, 8.5 on the centering, and then 9.5 on corners and surface, so uh, pretty happy with that, actually. Um, you know, the, I mean, yeah, the surface is, or the, sorry, the centering is off, but um, considering how often this card was probably played with, um, I'm happy with the corners and the surface having such high grades on it. And then the uh, last part of the series is the Champion's Aura. This came out in a uh, gem min 9.5 with the centering corners and surface at a 9.5 and the edges at a 9. So very happy with this. This is one of my uh, probably favorite looking scoring zone promos. I just like how uh, the card looks and the art really pops on it. So it's really nice to see that in a uh, slab. All right. And then the last cards I have, um, it's actually three of the same card. Um, it's from some older Yu-Gi-Oh! or an older Yu-Gi-Oh! set. Um, so something I just kind of started collecting again recently was just older Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff and I wanted to get some of the higher end cards from back in the day graded. So um, I started off with a playset of first edition Secret Rare Gemini Elves. So this is the first one and this is actually a misprinted one. It's missing the uh, stamp and you can tell that the machine actually attempted to stamp it because the outline's there but the uh, Konami foil pattern is missing. So this one came in at a mint nine with the uh, centering corners at a and corners at a nine five, the edges at a nine, and the surface at a eight point five. So uh, pretty happy with this. These are cards are really old. Came back in out in two thousand and three. So uh, pretty happy with that. And then. The uh, next Gemini Elf also got a mint 9 with the centering at an 8.5, corners and edges at a 9.5, and the surface at a 9. So this one had, uh, in my opinion, better grades than the other one did since the surface was higher and it was just dinged from the uh, centering on it. Uh, and then my last one came in at a gem mint 9.5, and I'm very thrilled with this because it has 9.5 on all four categories. So very strong and solid grades on this card. This card is awesome looking. 
So um, keep on the lookout. I plan on getting more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff graded, and I started getting uh, stuff graded with one of my friends as well. Um, I meant to make a video on it tonight as well with all this his stuff, but he managed to swing by and pick them up before I could uh, do that video. But um, I'll try and get some of his stuff going on in the next ones. But he's been getting um, anything from Weishwartz to Vanguard and um, a couple other like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff graded. So I'll be uh, getting a couple different other things on here just to show y'all. Um, but uh, let me know if there's anything in particular card-wise, uh, or at least game-wise, that you may want to see more of. Um, I know I have one more submission with some of the newer Panini Dragon Ball Z cards that just came out from the uh, Evolution set. Um, in my next submission, I just got two of the Ultra Rares graded, so I should have that back later on this week. And then, uh, as you can see, I got this fancy new mat from the uh, pre-release, so I was pretty happy to get a hold of one of these things. But, um, yeah, guys, well, I appreciate all the uh, views and if you guys have any questions as far as grading goes or anything like that um, feel free to comment or message me um, I am considering maybe trying to help out other potential uh, graders if they want to know how to do it or if they want me to help them submit an order um, I'll be happy to do so so thanks guys have a good night